County Department of Health is investigating buildings WWE is running shows in as part of a wider investigation into COVID-19 hotspots in the county. The Orange County Department of Health is asking their COVID-19 strike team to investigate 17 businesses where COVID-19 may be spreading. The WWE Performance Center, Full Sail University, and the Amway Arena, all places WWE are currently holding events, are on the list. He realized that the actual Amway Center, the actual Amway Center, the home of the Thunderdome, there's nobody else doing anything there except WWE. And, of course, same thing with the WWE Performance Center. WWE issued the following statement in response. As I noted in the opening segment, maybe I shouldn't read too much into this, but these are the numbers that they gave everybody. WWE is not open to the public, but rather operating on a closed set with only essential personnel in attendance. As part of ongoing weekly testing protocols, Aventus Labs have administered more than 10,000 PCR tests to WWE performers, employees, production staff, and crew, resulting in only 1.5% positive cases as compared to the current national average of more than 5%. Additionally, extensive contact tracing takes place. Impacted individuals are placed in 14-day quarantine and then only cleared after they test positive. So let me repeat that one more time. Aventus Labs have administered more than 10,000 PCR tests to WWE performers, employees, production staff, and crew, resulting in only... 1.5% positive cases. Do you know what that means if you do the math? Well, that means 150 performers, employees, production staff, and crew have tested positive for the coronavirus. Now, granted, we knew that there had been a large outbreak And there are no official numbers because WWE never released official numbers. But, I mean, we'd heard around 38 for the big one. And then there was another one. And we didn't hear any numbers for the other one. But, I mean, I'd heard double digits for that one. And granted, it was low double digits. But that was the number that I heard. And then a lot of people disappeared. And to be fair, like some of those people that disappeared, that was contact tracing disappearances. They actually didn't have it. But they had been around people who did have it. But the fact of the matter is, WWE, in their own statement, is essentially saying 150 positive tests. That is insane. And by the way, by the way, I know for sure that there have been individuals that tested positive and then People that they lived with or or their families, they ended up getting coronavirus. That would not even be counted in WWE's testing. So that is a crazy number of people that have contracted coronavirus directly as a result of WWE. I mean, they could have said 1%. They could have said 0.5%. Like, if the number was 50, why wouldn't they have said 0.5%? Because that's much more impressive than 1.5%. I believe they basically admitted 150 people involved in WWE, directly involved in WWE, have contracted the coronavirus. And that doesn't count anybody that those people spread it to. That is incredible. Do you think any of them hung out at the guilt bar? Dude, That's I a- don't know. Like the, the forget all that. I mean, guilt is Christmas. on the list here. No, well, actually, you shouldn't forget about all that because I would assume that the eight bars that they named that are being investigated, I, I have a feeling that more wrestlers may have maybe gotten together there as opposed to oh, dude, oh, they're all know, over the place. The Jesus School or Starbound Performers, which is two of the other places that they're looking at, because when you pull those names off, it's it's bars and it's WWE on this list that seem to take most of it up. That is insane. But anyway, so that news comes out, and then the next day we got somebody working for the company that's posting stuff about how the pandemic is whatever. It's like, dude, 150 people. 